Hey guys, I've got my end of the fall wax melts empties video. Uh, so this is all of the wax I've melted um, since I started melting fall wax, probably back in August or so. It's not near as much as you would expect for that amount of time. Yeah, this whole thing is full, but I have been burning a lot of candles as you guys know. And I have been kind of also focusing on my Scentsy Wax over the past month or so. And I'm gonna have a separate video for my empties for Scentsy, just so I can kind of go in depth on my Scentsy uh, fragrances and bars and talk about all things Scentsy in one separate video. Uh, so what I have here is mostly vendor wax and retail wax from Walmart, maybe some Goose Creek stuff here and there. Yeah, let's quickly get into this video while I have my, you know, my two hour window of sunlight during the mid afternoon. Um, you know, we're losing sunlight like it's going out of style here recently. I'm just gonna kind of run through these. I won't spend a lot of time on each one unless it was something that really stood out. Um, Southbound pumpkin cookies and milk. Love this one. I just finished it up. Literally, I put my last, just now, I put my last couple of cubes into the warmers. Uh, one of my favorites, I really feel like Southbound is my go-to pumpkin vendor for the fall months. Um, in my opinion, she does pumpkin as good or better than anyone out there. Um, that's a really good one. Pumpkin cookies and milk. Uh, keep an eye on that one. Write it down if you want to get it next fall. Something, that's one to keep an eye out for. Really great pumpkin fall fragrance. Uh, the next one is, I finally finished a custom blend loaf from Destination Wax. I have several of these left still. This was the blend of cranberry pumpkin and Danish butter cookie. Of course, you can't get these blends anymore. I don't really think she does the blends anymore. So much has changed with Destination Wax from when I first started using her as a vendor. So I don't use her as much anymore. I would like to place a really sizable spring order because I feel like she does those kind of florals, uh, fresh fragrances better than any other vendor that I've tried. So I would like to place that here soon, but I think she's kind of in a transition period right now where she's open all the way through maybe the new year, um, I wanna say. I think all she's doing right now are ready to ship items. And I'm not really sure when she's gonna open up for pre-order items again, hopefully in January. Hopefully at the beginning of January she does that because I would love to place an order for spring. Uh, that's really the only vendor I've been using over the past couple of years for spring. But like I said, you can't really do the custom blends anymore, um, but I'm happy to get rid of this finally. I've had it for years and that's cranberry pumpkin and Danish butter cookie mixed together. Another one from Southbound, this one was pumpkin cake batter and it was okay. It wasn't anything real memorable. I don't think I would buy that one again, even though I do really love her pumpkin blends. And another one from Southbound, this one is pumpkin spiced cider. Yeah, it's a really, really nice one. She also has, I think it's called um, spider cider. I think that's what it's called. That's another really great apple cider blend that she does. This is one of the best, absolute best pumpkin apple ciders that I've ever tried, especially with vendor wax. Definite repurchase for me. Southbound again, that's zombie bread. That one kind of, oh, I hate to say that, but it kind of smelled like plastic, the clamshell. Um, occasionally I'll get that with the clamshells from Southbound. Not often, but there will occasionally be that kind of rogue random clamshell that the wax just smells like plastic. That one did, but I still like that fragrance, zombie bread. It's really nice, but that one did smell like plastic a little bit. Uh, then we have the bathing garden, uh, chestnuts and pine cones. I've actually repurchased this one recently. The bathing garden is my go-to vendor for the winter and holiday wax. So if I'm gonna get a vendor and do something for the holidays, it's always gonna be the bathing garden. I will occasionally do that with Destination Wax too for uh, Christmas, the holiday season. But right now I'm kind of focusing on the bathing garden and this is a really good one. I'll actually have a haul here coming up probably in the next couple of weeks from the bathing garden for her winter collection. Um, a couple of really big hauls 
from the bathing garden. Uh, this one right here, Farmhouse Cookies from Sensationals. This is a new fragrance this year and it's really enjoyable. Every now and then you'll find something from Walmart, whether it's Better Homes and Gardens, Sensationals, Mainstays, you'll find a keeper. And this was a definite keeper for me. It kind of smells like caramel apple oatmeal cookies. Really good one. And I would recommend to someone that's looking for kind of like a caramel apple bakery scent to search that one out at Walmart right now. Uh, this next one, uh, Better Homes and Gardens. It's pumpkin and pistachio. It was just all right. It kind of did have that kind of perfumey, powdery, even slightly powdery, almondy pistachio. Not a ton of pumpkin, but you could at least smell that it was there. It wasn't a real strong performer. Maybe if it performed better, I would probably really recommend this one. But depending on how you want your fragrance to throw, I wouldn't repurchase this one again. But I do have another clamshell of it, so I'll probably talk about it again eventually. Uh, that's pumpkin and pistachio. Uh, this one right here from Better Homes and Gardens, uh, Fall into Autumn. It's just all right. I've had this clamshell for years and I don't even know how long, maybe six or seven years. It's kind of a very bitter, uh, tart cranberry mixed with a very, very rustic feel, outdoorsy feel. Probably not something I'm gonna buy again. And this one is from Walmart. It's called Jack-O-Lantern. I purchased this there's a couple others, I think, too, that I'm going to talk about. I purchased this randomly one year, and it was kind of hidden away with all of their Halloween decor and, like, dress-up items and things like that. So it wasn't over by the rest of all the wax in Walmart. Just, like, maybe three or four clamshells that were, you know, just had their own little spot by the Halloween decor. It was all right. Don't think I'll buy it again. Uh, Destination Wax Pumpkin Gingerbread. I don't think this one is being sold anymore. I think it was discontinued. If it wasn't, I would buy it again. Uh, another one from Destination Wax that I do know was discontinued. It's Pumpkin Trifle. It's the best pumpkin scent she's ever done, in my opinion. And it does smell like pumpkin carrot cake, to be honest. Um, I really feel like that's what it should have been called. I mean, I've even asked Rebecca several times if she could bring that one back. And I think maybe the oil was discontinued that she used for that one. I think she was even looking for a replacement oil for it and never really found one good enough. Um, this one is from Southbound Pumpkin Season. Really different take on a pumpkin fragrance. Kind of in a way smells like burnt popcorn a little bit and has a noticeable woodsiness to it too. So it's not gonna really be your your usual mass appealing pumpkin. Pumpkin season, I don't think I'll buy that one again, but I do have several clamshells of it. Uh, from Mainstays, Pumpkin Weather. This is a really, really good one. It's actually pretty unique too. It's a very spicy, foody uh, pumpkin fragrance. Very spicy, it's got a lot of cinnamon in it. You can really smell the actual pumpkin in it too. So it's like a pumpkin spice blend but it has the feel of something kind of outdoorsy to it too. Um, good one, repurchase, and I have several of these. That's pumpkin weather. Uh, here's an oldie but goodie from Goose Creek. It's called Pumpkin Spice Muffin. And you can tell I've had this one for a few years, all of that wax residue on the outside of it. Oh, just the right amount of spices and bakery. Good one from Goose Creek. Another oldie but goodie from Goose Creek. It's cranberry, probably the best cranberry that I've ever had from pretty much anyone. And we were just talking about straight cranberry. Yeah, that's my go-to cranberry. And I think this is available in a three wick candle too from Goose Creek. Uh, next one is a Yankee Candle Milk Cup. I don't actually have the Milk Cup with me. I just have the lid. I save the Milk Cups and use them in my uh, centerpieces from Yankee Candle. This one is Red Apple Wreath. It's a good one. I like, I prefer Tis the Season from Bath and Body Works. It's in that same vein, but still a good one, repurchase. Next one is Sleigh Bells from The Bathing Garden. It's kind of like a pepperminty. Yeah, it's got a pepperminty-ness to it. Nothing that really stands out for me. I didn't repurchase that one or anything. Uh, Destination Wax Butternut Pumpkin. This was actually a lot spicier than I was expecting it to be. It's very much in the vein of Bath & Body Works Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. 
and it performs really, really well. I would use this one in my Yankee Candle centerpieces. If you guys aren't familiar with what I'm talking about when I say that, Yankee Candle has their centerpieces. They're a very low wattage warmer that you can use in conjunction with their melt cups. So they're specifically made to work with their melt cups. And I use those, I save the melt cups and once they're emptied out and I'll put wax in them if I want a really low wattage to melt wax with. It doesn't always work, especially with vendor wax and Scentsy Wax too. It doesn't always work. Occasionally you'll find that fragrance that it works great with. This one from Destination Wax, uh, Butternut Pumpkin. That one works really well with it. Okay, the next one is from Better Homes and Gardens. This one is Honey Vanilla Chai. It was just okay. I would not repurchase that one. Uh, another keeper from Goose Creek, Kentucky Harvest. I think I still have several of these left. I don't even care if it comes back or not. It's one of my favorites though for the fall months from Goose Creek. And I say I don't care if it comes back because I have several more of it left still. Kentucky Harvest repurchase for sure. Okay, we're gonna talk about a few Yankee Candle Milk Cups real quick. Uh, sweet Maple Chai, I have this going in the living room right now. Very, very sweet maple fragrance. Um, Farm Stand Festival, uh, almost kind of a perfumey cherry combined with a very sweet amount of berries mixed in with the cherry. A lot of berries, but it has a perfuminess to it. It's not that kind of cherry amaretto fragrance at all. Very much a very sweet berry cherry fragrance. Little bit of a perfuminess to it. Um, another sweet maple chai. I wouldn't repurchase either of those. Destination Wax Applewood. One of my favorites for uh, the fall months. Applewood, really good one. I have a custom blend with Applewood too that I'm gonna finish up probably next year. I won't get to it this year. Uh, Moonbeams on Pumpkins from Yankee Candle. It was just okay. From Goose Creek, this one is Toasty Pumpkin Toddy. One of their all-time best fall fragrances. I didn't purchase it this year in the candle. Normally I would have. I had a ton of the wax melts though. A really nice kind of very sweetened, boozy pumpkin fragrance. And we're burning through this list too. Sensationals, Pumpkin Apple Muffins. Really good one. I think this one is a mainstay for Sensationals. You'll always find this one at Walmart. And it does smell like an apple muffin. I don't really get a ton of pumpkin in this. It does smell like apple muffin, maybe even a little bit of a caramel sweetness to it. Um, yeah, I highly recommend that one. Uh, another one from Better Homes and Gardens. This one is Pomegranate Spiced Cider. Um, it was okay. It kind of reminds me of a holiday cider, to be honest. Um, not really a fall fragrance for me. I guess depending on who you ask, it could be fall or holidays. Uh, one of the best from Sensationals, Pumpkin Cider. And really, you can't find a lot of retail wax that is a pure pumpkin cider that is as good as this one is. I mean, that is just a pumpkin cider, straight up. No way to really explain it other than that. Uh, the Bathing Garden, uh, The Fortune Teller. Gotta revisit this one. What was this one all about? I don't know what that one was. <sighs> Wasn't very memorable, I guess. The Fortune Teller from The Bathing Garden. Not sure if I liked that one or not. And here we have one from Southbound. It is Candy Corn Cupcakes. It was a lot of vanilla, and that's really all I can remember about that one. Kind of like a honeyed vanilla. It was okay. I don't know if I would repurchase that one. For me, it didn't really stand out. Um, I know a lot of people love that one. Maybe I'll revisit that again next year though. Another Yankee Candle Milk Cup. This was Pumpkin Apple Parfait. Um, smelled like uh, pumpkin cider, kind of like a pumpkin apple cider. Really good one from Yankee Candle. Uh, Sensational's Apple Pumpkin Donuts. One of my favorite bakery fragrances from Walmart Wax in general, not just apple pumpkin or cider, just in general, overall from Walmart. That's one of my favorite bakeries for the fall. Goose Creek Autumn. This is kind of ironic because this smells like Bath and Body Works leaves. Um, it doesn't smell like their autumn fragrance. It smells like leaves. 
and it has just the ever so slightest bit of a woodsiness to it. I would repurchase that one, but I have tons of that one backups. Um, Destination Wax Butternut Pumpkin, again, really good one. Bath and Body Works Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. Uh, Destination Wax Caramel Cream Brulee. Yeah, I would repurchase that one too. It's a really nice, smooth caramel. Another Butternut Pumpkin from Destination Wax. Um, Harvest Moon from Southbound was not one of my favorites, I gotta be honest. No, it's definitely going in that kind of outdoorsy leaves vibe, uh, very woodsy even, kind of slightly rustic. Uh, Sensational's Caramel Apple Spice. Yep, repurchased for me year after year. Uh, Southbound, Tricky Treats. This is a different one, it's very unique. It's a very candied kind of fragrance. It says pumpkin, persimmon, apple, blueberries, elderberries, and cinnamon with a hint of sugarcane and vanilla. Yeah, and that all kind of comes out to smelling like something just very sweet and candied. Uh, southbound again, pumpkin cream puffs. This is a good one, but it's one of the ones that actually ended up smelling like plastic. Yeah, the whole thing in there smells like plastic. And I know I've been recommended to take the wax out of the clamshell immediately if I receive one that smells like that and just kind of let it get some air, let it sit out for a few days. Yeah, with this one, it didn't help at all. I let it sit out for a really long time. It didn't help, um, didn't affect the performance of the fragrance. Uh, Mainstays, apple cider donut, good one. I've got several of those, need to get rid of them. Uh, Destination Wax Blueberry Pumpkin Patch. Really good blueberry pumpkin fragrance if you're looking for one. And we have Destination Wax Log Cabin Kitchen. Um, an apple, kind of sweet apple, outdoorsy fragrance. Destination Wax Sweater Weather, exactly what you would think it is. A dupe for Bath & Body Works Sweater Weather. Uh, Destination Wax Pumpkin Gingerbread, talked about this one. I would buy that one again. Um, I think I'm running low on that one. Uh, Mainstays Pumpkin Weather again, really good one. I've got several of that. And the last one I have here to talk about is from Yankee Candle, one of their milk cups. It is Sugared Pumpkin Swirl. Very sweet, overly sweet, spiced pumpkin fragrance with even a lot of caramel to it too. Okay guys, that wraps up fall 2022 for wax melts. And that's all I have here. I know for a lot of people, you probably have two or three times that, but I've been doing a lot of other things, burning a lot of candles and such too. So the next things I have coming up here on this channel, and I'll do this for myself just as much to let people know what to expect. I do it for myself just to kind of prioritize things. I have, and I even have it written down, um, I have a Scentsy Club Haul here coming up pretty soon, and I am gonna have my Scentsy Fall Empties video where I talk about my Scentsy Wax that I've gone through for the fall months. I'm just gonna focus on fall-specific fragrances for that video. I'll also have my candle empties for the month of November. Uh, the month of November in fragrance for personal fragrance, that video is gonna be coming up hopefully in the next couple of days. So I do have a few things on the docket to finish out this week with. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll talk to you soon.